the Supreme Court has given uh, permission to two companies or two uh, plaintiffs to take a case against the state and against the businessman Dennis O'Brien arising out of the 1995 mobile phone competition that was won by Dennis O'Brien's ESA Digifone. Um, there was a competition in 1995, there were six consortiums that uh, went uh, for the licence. Uh, Dennis O'Brien's won. Uh, one of them called Cellstar uh, came last. Another called um, Persona came second. Now the, the plaintiffs in this case that the Supreme Court has ruled on today involve elements of the Persona and uh, Cellstar consortiums. They are essentially, uh, in the case of Persona, a businessman called Tony Boyle and one of his associates and an Irish businessman. And in the other instance, in the case of Cellstar, it's an American company called Comcast and the Galway businessman and sometimes political activist uh, Declan Gandhi. And um, they are looking to sue uh, the state and the and Mr. Uh, O'Brien uh, and ESA Digifone. Uh, and they're alleging that the competition was corrupt and that they should have, uh, and that they are entitled to damages as a result. As we know, uh, the Moriarty Tribune has found that um, the then government minister uh, Michael Lowry received payments uh, from the businessman Dennis O'Brien and that Mr uh, Lowry interfered in the licence process to the benefit of uh, Mr O'Brien's he said uh, did you fall and these two things were uh, connected. Well, there were allegations over the years that these plaintiffs were, were delaying the case um, that they were waiting to see what the Moriarty Tribunal would uh, expose before they themselves went ahead with their case it was a case taken to the High Court to argue that they shouldn't be allowed to do this. Uh, the High Court agreed they shouldn't be allowed, they had to proceed. Um, and now the Supreme Court has ruled that they were allowed to uh, wait um, for the findings of the Moriarty Tribunal. So the evidence which the Moriarty Tribunal heard in relation to the licence competition, as I understand it, won't be of use to the plaintiffs uh, directly in their case against uh, the defendants. But they could use what's emerged publicly in the Moriarty Tribunal uh, proceedings as a guide to what evidence is available to them, which they could uh, present to the courts. Obviously, the Moriarty Tribunal proceedings took years, so this case, if it did go ahead, would have the potential to last a very, very long time and to involve enormous uh, legal costs. Uh, should the plaintiffs win, uh, the damage which is would be likely to be huge because the license when it was awarded in 1996 was, to the best of my rec recollection, given a value of £60 million and um, so you'd have to uh, uh, add inflation to that and also the license had a, uh, an inherent potential to produce even greater amounts of wealth.